Recognized, Emily of Arden, D-1-2. Hello team, and welcome to Intel Update number 22. With Young Justice Phantoms and our Scream Something episodes about it both drawing to a close, we thought we'd share a quick little update with you all. On the YJ News front, the main thing you need to know about is Young Justice Targets. If you haven't already heard, Young Justice Targets is a six-issue comic book miniseries written by Greg Weissman with art by Christopher Jones. It, like all of the previous YJ tie-in comics, is canon to the Young Justice TV series, and Targets picks up after the events of Phantoms. It's also important to note that Young Justice Targets is a digital-first comic book, which means it will be available online from official sources before it's available in print at your local comic book shop. The release schedule may feel a little wonky, but the quick rundown is this. Each issue is first being released in full on DC Universe Infinite. Issue 1 dropped on June 14th, with issue 2 being slated to drop later in July. On the same day as the DC Universe Infinite release, you can get the first half of the comic, which is the present-day post-Phantom storyline, through other digital retailers like Comixology. The full comic, or Director's Cut edition, which was published on DC Universe Infinite from the start, will be available on Comixology as well as in-print format from your friendly neighborhood comic book store one month after the initial release. So the first issue will be in comic stores on July 26th. And pre-ordering from your local store is a great way to make sure you never miss an issue of the series while also supporting a local business. But no matter when or how you decide to read, picking up a copy of Young Justice Targets is a great way to show the powers that be that there is still interest in even more Young Justice stories, while also getting to read a brand new Young Justice story right now. So that's about it for Young Justice news at the moment, but in the world of Whelmed, we do have a small announcement. We will be taking the next few months off from bi-weekly releases. After a whirlwind recording and release schedule for the back half of Phantoms, our whole team needs to take some time off to rest, regroup, and then plan for all of the amazing things we have coming up in the future. Neil's got to watch all of Green Lantern, the animated series. I've got to read a bunch of classic literature to better talk about the illusions in Artemis's arc. And we just need a little time off to keep making Whelmed the best that it can be while also taking care of ourselves, our mental health, our other projects, and all the other things that make up our lives. When we return in a few months from now, We'll have deep dive reviews of Phantoms, new discussion sessions, comics commentaries for the Targets miniseries once that finishes being published, and hopefully even more bonus episodes and other fun things to share. But until then, here are some bloopers from the past year that we hope you'll get a laugh out of while you wait for our return. Thanks so much for listening and sticking with us, and remember to stay whelmed, everyone. Initiate blooper reel. This is Emily, and I am now recording. This is Neil, and I am now recording. Are you going to have the lady record, too? Oh. Or should I have the lady? No, I can do that. I forgot about that. That was fine. Thank you, robot lady. God. Uh, I, was so, I was so invested in like making sure that my audacity went on the way it was supposed to. I forgot to hit the back up. <laughs> it happens. Sorry, now I'm just making sure something with my audacity is right. Okay, it's all good. And wait, I should... Okay. Back bends out of frame to close my heating <laughs> vent so that it doesn't make noise. Because <laughs> it's cold here. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll see if uh, how the construction goes. Luckily, luckily, we waited until this week because they literally tore down a whole building. So, yeah, if we would have done it Thursday or Friday, literally a wall came down and from my office it shook and you could hear shatters like because it was like mainly windows. Yeah. So Monday, <laughs> that Monday would have been kind of amazing. But Monday <laughs> was the right choice. So. OK, well, let's see if we remember. How to do an Elseworlds review. <laughs>
I don't know. Last time, last time we did one of these was two, oh, two years ago. At least. <laughs> At least. Mm-hmm. I think the last one was like uh, early-ish 2020, maybe. Well, yeah, the, the, the Gotham by Gaslight was the last one yeah. I remember. Yeah, it was okay. the last one we did. Because we've done, we you got you and you and Rich did Red Hood, mm-hmm. and then me and Rich did uh, the World War Two one New Frontier. I think yes. it's called. And then we did Gotham by Gaslight, mm-hmm. uh, and now we're doing Wonder Woman. I'm ready. Okay. Dramatic sip of tea, ready to go, and make sure that my mic is actually pointed at my face instead of the ground professional podcaster things oh, yeah. my my biggest tip for aspiring podcasters make sure your mic is pointed at your face mm-hmm. <laughs> yep that the direction is set correctly because i had the yeti to start and i had it set the wrong direction so it was technically recording my reverberation from the other side and i was like yeah. oh so that's why my audio is awful yeah good job I like I like my little mic that only has one direction, yes. but I just need to point it. It does help. That's good. It it's helpful. It means I can never do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then a clip will go here that we haven't picked and we don't know what it is. <laughs> Cause nothing in this movie stood out to me immediately as like iconic line. Yeah. Uh, I mean nothing that I'm gonna put in there, but my iconic lines are Almost anything that Edda says, I hope I can find someone who likes them thick. I'm not going to put that in there, but I want to. Sure. <laughs> Honestly, that was one of the better subplots of this movie. Oh my gosh. Every, like, I, that's my note. It's literally everything Edda. Okay. She's great. I love her quest. I love Diana's support of her quest. Yes. <laughs> Edda sets out with a goal and she accomplishes it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and... With that housekeeping out of the way, let's hand it off to Emily for. <laughs> oh, I knew it recovers so quickly. While, and while Diana is able to. I can read words, I promise. And Diana believes that visiting the shrine may lead to the uh, stuff and words. I got through so much of that mm-hmm. without screwing up. Before we begin, I am going to tell you, if I mess up Vanessa and Veronica, Mm -hmm. uh, try to catch me on it, because I messed it up while writing the outline the first time through for a good half a paragraph, and then went, wait a minute. Santa Prisca. How how dare this movie put two people with very similar names in the same movie? You can't do that. I don't care if it happens in real life. You can't do it in movies. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> How would these people meet each other and not immediately be like, we can't associate? I know that in real life you can have four mats in one classroom, but you cannot have a Veronica and a Vanessa in the same storyline. Na- the naming zeitgeist is probably one of the most intriguing things in existence. Because, yes, Ava, we had chosen the name f- like five years before we had her. And then like literally watched it become the most like prominent name. And when we were in the NICU, there were five on the unit. One was in our room and literally she goes to school and it becomes Ava P because like that's, you have to continually distinguish her from others. Yeah. Yeah. I was always, I was the only Emily in my class for all of middle and elementary school, but there were multiple Emily's in every class, like before and after Mm. me. Like kind of nice. thing. It was wild. Dodged it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just barely somehow. Like it was the most, I think it was the most popular name. One of the most popular names the year I was born. And still I was just like, somehow in my, in my school, I am the only one in this year. <laughs> I did um, it. I did it <laughs> magically. And it's, all, it's definitely something I did. So uh, moving on to after all of that, let's actually jump into this. <laughs> After all of this nonsense that will be cut, let's get into some Aster. Like, I thought it was a moment of Diana being like, this. <laughs> My bad. You're all- that was real loud. <laughs> it, was. it was about to spill. <laughs> it's not even that funny. Bloopers. It just caught me off guard. Uh, but a couple of 
things that I do like before we move on to Neil's notes wonderfully and continue for what did I just say? Why did I throw in an, why did I, I throw know. in an adverb? Do <laughs> so you ever stop halfway through a sentence and go, what the heck am I saying? Bail, um, bail, bail out. <laughs> so how do we go from here to the other thing? Do, what, is there a segue words that we say that I don't remember? Uh, I don't know. And I didn't check our last one to see what it might be. So I'll just say something and then we'll play okay. that sound clip that we apparently have. And then we'll go for it. <laughs> we haven't done an Elseworlds in two years. Mm-hmm. Episode links. That was from an old outline. No, I know. <laughs> No, I just wanted to read it because I thought it would be funny. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to hit stop on my recording. Go ahead. This is Emily. I am now recording. This is Neil, and I too am recording. And that's Robot Lady, and she is now recording. There we go. Okay. (laughs) Intel update. Let's go. You are legally obligated to say hey or whatever. Please. Uh, I, I intended to say nothing else. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> say whatever you want, Neil. I just had to put something there that wasn't no, like I know. Neil says stuff. Oh my gosh, uh, I, laughed. I laughed so hard when I read it. I was like, oh, it's going to take everything not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well. Sound clip from the trailer of Neil's That's choice. Okay. That's a great idea. And I will do that. That's, I don't know. I was like, we need a sound clip. And I was like, probably some from the trailer, I guess. They say words in that, right? They do. Uh, they say several interesting words by several interesting people who I cannot this, identify. Yep. So, and even once where I was like, I know who that voice actor is, but that means nothing. Because uh, this is an animated show and everybody plays 12 characters. But we'll get into that. Uh, <laughs> blooper reel. He's the spawn of Dark Side. Dark Side. I said that. The spawn of dark side. <laughs> okay. It's a dark seed. Yeah, it's especially in a line that also contains the word spawn. No. No. Yeah. I, mm. Um. <laughs> getting back on track. I am a mess, apparently, today. Uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, words, yes. Hey, everybody. In Scream Something, oh, the lot. Words. I wasn't ready for words. In Scream Something, Emily and I will be sharing our initial thoughts. And I will move this over. There we go. And reactions for the episodes of season four that were released last Thursday. There will be plenty of Aster in these episodes, but our team will be saving our deeper analysis for the full episode breakdowns we have that we have planned for after the season finale. So I wonder what quote will go here. And with all that, <laughs> I couldn't do it. It was too. And with all of that out of the way, let's hand it over to Emily for the next day. We see the opening ceremonies for that. Ca- Today is going to be an adventure. I'm so sorry. Meanwhile, in Happy Harbor, Harbor, I was trying to read both Harbor and Harper at the same time, and it didn't go well. We're Today's doing an adventure. Back in Atlantis, the Mystic <laughs> Mystic sorry. Crisis continues. Is that too many C's in a row? Sorry. No, no, it's fine. That's why I wanted to say it and before I said it. But once he claims himself, oh no, once he claims himself, (laughs) I don't know. I am Cutter. Um, (laughs) Claim your identity. That's not it. Back out in ghost space, wherever, uh, Connor Connor does things. Connor hallucinates Mm -hmm. wildly. (laughs) But like, in a good way. (laughs) I I just desperately want... I think that what... So, wow. I'm sorry. I started three sentences at the same time there. Let Great. me try that again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I do that sometimes, and it's always it's always not the right way to have any conversation. <laughs> um, oh, hey, guess what? Time for the next mission. <laughs> I just needed a sip of my... I just needed a sip of my tea. I wasn't trying to be like... No, no, Neil, no. Neil, be the audio board. <laughs> Do it. I don't know what to do if you don't say, uh, you don't say our sound. Derailed. <laughs> also, I just need to point out that this show gave us Orin, Orm, and Arian oh, yeah. in the same setting. Not a, and I have to. Not a fan. The Orin, Orm one hey, is not my favorite because I 
No, no, that one's like Arian. I just throw in there as like, and there's this other yeah. one that's kind of close, but not that close. But he's also a king, and so it gets confusing. Uh, but those two, Orin and Orum, and their brothers. I'm like, <sighs> please do not, <laughs> don't do this to me. We confuse Santa Prisca oh, and Infinity geez. Island for a whole episode. So, and those don't even sound the same. They just do the same thing. Okay. So, episode 17 begins with King Orin and Miss Martian questioning Osh. Osh? Osh. I don't I don't know what happened. My brain just was like, we can't we're not going to sentence right now. Give us a minute. So, let's try that again. Let's see if I can talk. Weeks later, after the credits, civilians across Atlantis are still calling for Orion. <laughs> Orion the is new in the leader other of Atlantis. Episodes. Oh my god. <laughs> He's on a different planet. I should have included that in my list of uh-huh. names that are going to be the death of me. Orin, Orum, Arian, Orion. Read them all and get them straight in your brain. <laughs> Infiltrates a secured warehouse and steals a radio. Ra- uh huh. Fourth world. <laughs> Welcome. It's some. I know it's some people's favorite thing, and it's totally valid if it's people's favorite things. But there's so many words. Oh, it's so wild. There's so many words. Okay. To great rejoicing, and entrust it to two young larvae. Larva? Larvae? Larvae. Lar- larvae, I think. Is that how they? I think it's think? one larva, multiple larvae. Okay, because I was like, wait, how? Maybe. Are yeah. Eh. To two young larvae. I can't say this now. Um. Oh, I can because it's, it's no. wonderful. <laughs> okay, I will say. It. I approve. <laughs> uh, of my thought process or my yes, note? which one are we going with? Oh, the thought process. Okay. Um. I'm over here in my corner where I'm just like, I am a I am a white girl with limited life experience and I don't want to say anything <laughs> dumb. Um and Yeah, I think it's important. And you're apparently from the twenties. What? <laughs> you started to take the, you started to take out a very old timey voice there at the end. Ha-cha-cha. You mean the old timey radio voice that reports Hot on damn, what's y'all. happening overseas and the news. <laughs> this <laughs> is the <laughs> local <laughs> news. News from the front. Welcome to the <laughs> the amount of time de- I have, I have my weird old old timey radio voice that I do use <laughs> in real life sometimes <laughs> to inform people of things. <laughs> the wonderful world of being a voice actor, just having really random voices that <laughs> I have never used for a project. I just do for jokes in real yeah. life. That's how you develop the skills, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, but this is Emily. I am now recording. This is Neil, and I am now recording. Only on Emily? one side of the audio track, too. And I don't know why. And I've never invested the time to care. So. I'm sorry. This is Emily recording at a weird angle and continually moving her mic until it's at a place that makes sense. Because I am turned sideways in my chair so that I can ice my leg. And this is Neil putting his hands in his pocket because he touched things on his desk and they come across in the audio. And that's the robot lady. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if she shows up on the audio when you get it, but she I feel the not. need to. Uh, it's so no one has ever heard the thing that I joke about. No, because yeah, it's not even in our audio. Like the Zoom backup doesn't have it either. So yeah, if you've never been on Zoom, you don't know what we're talking about. Episode 20 opens with Rocket trying to patch things up with Orion, who turns out to actually be Macomb in disguise. (laughs) I'm going to start this over, but it's only because I'm laughing so hard at the way every single sentence about these episodes, for whatever reasons, makes me feel like I'm explaining like a conspiracy theory board. (laughs) But I'm like, hear me out. So it's such a it's such a good dream team though for like the bad guy dream team over here. You've got this crazy box. You've got a time sphere. You've got a, a Lorzod. Like, oh, so man. 
So a Martian, a giant bug, a weird box, and a Kryptonian all jump into a ball that yeah. goes through space. Don't worry. The Kryptonian is actually from the future, but his mom was pregnant with him for a thousand years. In the Phantom Zone. Oh, what's that? Who's the MVP? The bug. That's the best person on the team. The bug. <laughs> Okay. In episode 21, that's not how I wrote that sentence, so I'll say it better this time. That he's the son of Lufer. 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 Hey, it's me. Hello, team. Welcome to. What? But. Bitta, I'm good at this. I lost the outline. Just. I had too many Just tabs. straight Aha. up lost it? Well, I. I had two windows, not tabs, like I thought Fair I enough. did. And that that means I found it, though. Which has been acting as a meta-teen, which has been, it's a meta-human, not just teenagers. They're not just letting any teenager wander into this country. <laughs> Come on down. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You threw me off. I read it out loud, but my brain... Marvovia! Sorry, um, I... I don't know why Google didn't catch it for me. Halo arrives in Brion's throne. (laughs) Google just gave (laughs) up. It's like, I don't know what you're doing. It's it's all fine. Halo Halo arrives in Brion's throne. Gosh, (laughs) try again. After traveling to the Watchtower, Phantom Girl explains that she knows and what I, I wrote this and I forgot what words. There's a bunch of other scenes in between all of this, but I apparently grouped all of these together because all the other ones are tiny fragments. Ah, um, internet connection. Neil has frozen. Now you've frozen. Please. Please zoom. You're back. <laughs> I do appreciate that both of us apparently do the exact same thing when someone freezes, which is just kind of dance around and wait. Keep moving. <laughs> keep 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 active. That keep. way they know when you're back. <laughs> yep. Love it. So let me say that again. <laughs> and remember. Stay whelmed, everyone. Or else. No. I'm just- <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a request, not a threat. Just in time for your next mission. There we go. Yes. I yes. wasn't going to do it. I was waiting. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> so many bloop, so many bloopers from this finale that are just <laughs> us being excited <laughs> to all be in the same. Somehow I came room. back and the bloopers doubled. Coincidence? No, <laughs> no I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm going to do this last sentence again because my daughter just slammed the door. <laughs> <laughs> when the tide of, bat- tide of battle good. turns... Here we go again. Cut that, Neil. When the tide of metal, leave it. Metal, <laughs> metal, 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 metal. When the we were doing was so, so well. good, I was really happy. War world, and they agree to release them on. Is it Trombus or Thrombus? It's Trombus. I think it's I Trombus. added an okay. extra H in there because okay. who knew that typing made up planet names would be difficult sometimes yes. well, throm- you know, thrombus is a, thrombus a, is a medical term so I think you got autocorrect <laughs> and a planet throm- planet uh, thrombus probably. would be a whole other conversation <laughs> 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 okay and now it's time for a wedding uh, and basically <laughs> I'm sorry I literally I, I structured this outline just so I could be the one who got to Good. say this part Perfect. The perks of writing the outline myself. <laughs> I'm going to calm down and say that like a normal person. And remember, stay, stay well, everyone. everyone. Oh, that was... I was going to count down. Okay, we can do that. a countdown and do it at the same time if you want, Rich. Check. All right. One, two, three, stay well. Stay, stay well, everyone. everyone. I'll put it together. Rich, you just say it on your own. And I'll put it on top of the other one. <laughs> I just thought this would be fun. And then I realized how much work it is for Neil. Oh, no, I'm no. so very it, sorry. No, no. As long as we all, I mean, honestly, if we all just say it individually and I just put it on top, it's totally fine. Stay whelmed, everyone. Perfect. Because our, ours were both pretty close. I don't 
Yeah. It'll be great. Everyone will okay. love us talking about it in the bloopers later. <laughs> <laughs> doing doing things all together at the same time. I, for some reason, did that in the past. I can't remember what it was and it just was it did not. Chaos. It's a train wreck. Yeah. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our hosts are Rich Howard and Emily Booza. Our editor and producer is Neil Powell. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed. Well